What is up everybody, this is Clayton aka Gumbers from The Geek Life, and I want to talk to you all today about a little game called Archaica Path of Light. Archaica is a game by indie studio Two Mammoths, and it's about, well, pretty much what you expect by the name, Path of Light. So Archaica is basically your standard puzzle game. You basically have a series of crystals throughout the level that you have to get a corresponding colored laser to pass through all of the crystals. So if you have one blue laser and one red laser and you know a series of red and blue crystals you have to get the red through the red crystals blue through the blue crystals starts off fairly simple but once you add more to it well not so simple anymore even with this simplistic concept when you add different types of gadgets and new mechanics into the game such as splitters and amplifiers having to combine colors adds a whole new level to the game but where this game sort of stands out is each level has artifacts you can find to unlock hints and backstory about the world. You have a series of tablets that, if you collect all of them, it gives you a bit of backstory to the level, and uh, those are not so much required. You can just sort of do that as a, you know, perfectionist. I tend to be a completionist sometimes, so not really too interested in the backstory too much. But, you know, if you want to go back and learn about the history of these levels and the backstory of the game that isn't really explained through lasers and mirrors, you can do that. The crystals you collect, well, those are a little bit more useful, at least towards the later levels of the game. If you collect all the crystals, you maximize the number of hints that you can have for that level. So if you get lost, you can use one of the crystals to select an area, and if any of the tiles light up, then you'll know that one of the pieces are supposed to go there. The only problem with that is they don't tell you what piece goes there or what direction it's supposed to be in. So on one of the levels, for example, I managed to find where all six pieces went, but since I didn't know what pieces went where and what direction they were supposed to be pointing, it still took me a good 20 minutes to figure out what orientation they were supposed to be in. The fun part of each level is that it'll start off half solved already, so you'll assume that's where some of the pieces are supposed to go. I can assure you, and this is not a spoiler, that is not the case. Do not trust them. I spent the entire beginning of each level searching around for artifacts. It was like starting every level with a game of I Spy before getting to the actual puzzle. And speaking of puzzles, holy hell are there some brain busters in here. So many times I'd be on the verge of solving a puzzle and something wouldn't add up. There was always something just out of place and the answer would be right at the edge of my grasp. Then just as I'm about to give up, boom, everything clicks into place and all the crystals light up for the kind of payoff you can only get from a really satisfying puzzle game. I always thought I felt pride for myself for solving puzzles in Portal, but thinking with portals is so much easier than thinking with mirrors. I'm not gonna lie, I beat a lot of these levels by accident. Archaica unlocked my innermost addictive tendencies. I haven't been so obsessed with solving a puzzle since trying to unravel the mystery of why so many people like Pitbull. Just a world why, am I right? Overall, I'd have to recommend this game to anybody who's a fan of puzzles. Except in this case, it's like Puzzle Night at Grandma's house. Except every time you solve part of the puzzle, she smacks a piece out of your hand and dumps another puzzle on top of it. Thanks a lot, Grandma. You're the best.